Hello and welcome to this week's project. Thought for a change I'd do a bit of a voiceover. Um, this is an all wood project, no resin involved. I've got a bit of plywood here, it's just, I think it's 9mm. A bit of scrap um, shelving, cheap soft pine and a few bits of raggedy looking pallet wood. And I've printed out a poster of Super Mario on his brick wall. Few paints, paintbrushes, and lastly some clock parts. So today it's a bit of wall art. I haven't done anything like this in a little while. So first start off by sticking this poster onto the plywood. The plywood's going to be the backing for the actual project. That's what's going to hold everything together once it's all glued. Mario has been a massive part of my life. Loved loved all the games. I had the very first NES and for those of you that are about matching my age you'll remember it came with Duck Hunt and Mario. So I just cut this out using a jigsaw. I didn't use the bandsaw this time because it was a lot easier to be honest with the jigsaw doing it. And I got a couple of the narrow little braids so it cut round all the curves that I needed to actually really well. So yeah, new Mario game just about to come out actually to Snow. So this uh, project's just about right really. So now after I'd cut the back in out, I then needed to cut Mario out. Um, it's a bit like an intarsia project really this. So as you can see here, I'm outlining some of the bits that I want to have cut so that they're individual pieces. It's only about, I don't know, about 15 mils this um, soft pine and it's actually perfect for these type of projects. So using the jigsaw again, I cut out all the individual parts. I think it was about this point that uh, I realised that the face was going to be complicated. I struggle with faces because I'm no artist. But uh, I probably didn't have too much to worry about, but we'll see that later. So now it's all cut out. Uh, I need to get these bits sanded. So that's me sanding one of his shoes there. So I just wanted to put nice curves on. It gives it just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit better. If you remember that when I did the Tomb Raider one with the Lara Croft, um, I really liked the edges curved. So just using a little drum sander for this one, these are perfect, they're only about £10 off Amazon, they're such a good little tool. For the hands and that, I actually wanted to get some detail in there, so I actually used the Dremel with just a sanding bit on. I'm now cutting out uh, the pallet wood for the wall. I didn't really go off the size for the poster here, I went, I made my own sizes just using the pallet wood. And for this, I did use a bandsaw, but you didn't need to. Could have used a jigsaw for this too. Pallet wood is very, very handy to have. Just sanding it off now, just cleaning all the edges up. And also tapering the edges on this, just to give the bricks a little bit of a defined look. I marked about a quarter of an inch in here on all of them so it was pretty much even the taper on the top of these. And then I also did that on this little sander. Now to a bit of time lapse, got to have a bit of time lapse in my video. So this was me just doing the painting. I actually ordered these paints in from Amazon because I was looking for a Pacific blue and red just to try and keep his colours as uh, accurate as possible. I do love these type of projects. Um, it's just so different from what I normally do. I actually watered, it's acrylic colours, but I actually watered them down um, just to make them a little bit thinner so that they weren't so thick the colour you can still see some of the wood underneath it I'm 
and plus it made the paint go a long way. This project did actually take a fair few days to complete. This was me just doing the brick wall. And his famous moustache. I then um, drilled into the center brick on uh, the brick wall bit because I wanted to put a clock in the back of here. I didn't really have um, a, a clock that was really that good for this. I could have done with something with longer hands on it, but it did what I needed to do. Then I used just a, a bit of lacquer on the top just to uh, just to protect it a little bit really I wasn't being too fussy with it but it just uh, just gives it a bit of protection and give it a bit more shine using the jigsaw again I just um, cut out the space where I need the back of the clock to go in I also did a bit of painting on this board so that it looked um, a little bit darker and sort of made the bricks look uh, a little bit as Mario's do. I'm not explaining that very well, but oh well. Now time to glue. So that's just about it really. The gluing up to be done. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, something a little bit different. No music this time for a little change. Really pleased how the project came out. No idea what I'm going to do with it. But uh, yeah, I really just hope you enjoyed it. And thank you all for continuing to watch the channel and watching this video. See you again next time.